everybody, it's Savage Agent, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fire Emblem Three, Three Houses. We literally just finished the last episode, as far as this is concerned. Um, oh, don't auto-advance. Yeah, we saw some shit in that forest, so I wanted to talk about that real quick. Um, that video went way longer than I thought it did, and then I had to go run some errands, and then now I am back um, in between. So it's only been like a couple hours for me, real time, but obviously it's going to be a little bit longer than that in between. For you guys, that episode was crazy, and it was a lot more than I thought it was, and now here we are in the post of that. Sorry, I just kind of, I felt like I needed to give my introduction, I, I guess I'm rude. Interesting sword. Surely the creature's true identity was. I'm so. Who the hell are you? You again? I heard rumor that the wandering beast was slain. But do you really believe that frees you of suspicion? I mean, Without yeah. Without proof that it was slain, <coughs> the argument that you are not a beast does not stand. Furthermore, I. Huh? Oh, that sword. When the Wandering Beast was defeated, this sword... It's unmistakable. Carved into that sword's crest stone is Maurice's crest. But how would the Lost Magic Blade end up with the Wandering Beast? Because he was Maurice. what I know of Maurice's story, he didn't let go of the sword until the very end. That must mean... I see. So that's what happened. My apologies. It seems I was mistaken. No shit, sir. Oh, you mean you were mistaken? He was Maurice, dude. Maurice himself. He was roaming the dark woods for over a thousand years, suffering for his murderous past. Yeah, good thing you put an end to it. It's true. And because of that, I feel as though... My curse has been lifted. The blood of a beast no longer flows through me. I feel human for once. Interesting. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it on my own. Without your help, I would never have found peace. I'll do anything I can to repay my debt to you. Well, just keep being badass, Marianne, honestly. The Blood Gang. Uh, it's a sword, which is interesting because it's definitely not going to Marianne if it's a sword. There's a couple things I want to go over first. Like Raphael and his silver axe. Do I have like another silver axe to give him? Or what? Here, trade with Sedith. Give him your shitty silver axe until we can actually go get a new one. <laughs> there you go. All better. There's somebody else that I felt was having... Do we have another silver bow for you? We have a magic bow. That's interesting. Um, yeah, there is a silver bow. So trade that for your trash one. There you go. Feeling good there. The Steel Lance Plus was l won by Leone, so I feel like Leone should probably have it. And her steel Silver Lance was not doing so great. So Where's the Silver Lance Plus? There it is. That's what she gets. She's a bad bitch. She deserves it. This guy's killing it too, honestly. <laughs> I'm just checking on things. Sorry. Excuse me while I try to figure out what the hell I'm doing. I wanted to give you the crit ring, though. But you still have the knowledge gem, which honestly makes sense. Then let's give it to Ignatz. What do you have? The speed ring? I don't think that's as important as the almighty crit ring that I bought you. Critical ring. There we go. Um, you have a hexlock shield. You have a steel shield. I bet we can do better than that. A speed ring. The golden tear bracelet. A hexlock shield. Because those are just good. The goddess ring does what? Restore HP every turn. You have the Aegis Shield. You have the Magic Staff. I think we're good. Now we're ready to jump into, I guess it's this one, this Auxiliary Battle, Battle at the Border. Rare enemies. I don't know if I necessarily need rare enemies. Maybe I'd rather deal with this quest. 
Probably smarter, actually. Because the other one just gives you beasts, and trust me, we fought plenty of beasts. We just fought a whole map of them. It was terrible. Actually, it wasn't that bad. We fared pretty all right, but still. Dealing with deserters. Yes, I would love to replenish all the battalions. Still can't bring everybody with us. It's the same old story. Let's make sure that you have said it, though. God, why would he be here to marry Anne? That doesn't make sense. What am I dealing with here? Oh, we're in two separate groups just kind of flushing up. Okay. Well, in this group, we'll put Raphael and Savage up front. They'll be fine. Along with Mary Ann, Ignatz, and Claude. That actually looks totally fine. Wow. Our teams were actually pretty evenly split already. Fine. We'll just jump right into it then. I think this one will be easy. But we'll see. Maybe those are the famous last words, you know? Oh, yeah. Just chop him. Bye! But still, this gives us more, like, class experience for everybody that needs it still, so... Can't complain. Alright, Claude. That's a little too far. Controller, don't act like this. My controller trying to be acting up again, guys. Oof. Nope, you can go, sir. Miss. And you hit us with the 37% chance? What the fuck? <laughs> that was just insulting game. What was that? That was rude. Just chop this guy. Goodbye. I must lead them well. Hey, got Felix another level though. Hey, that wasn't bad either. Strength and speed. Can't complain. All right. We can just kill you with what? I guess the killing edge. Even better when we get a crit. Well, he's got the critical ring, so just like it makes that. sense. Then Marianne, you can heal Claude because he freaking got cucked there so hard. He got screwed, honestly. Like, that's that's just not okay. <clears throat> Free experience for you, too. Nice. As far as these guys over here, we do have to be kind of careful of all the bows just because of Leone. But as soon as we get those out of here, it won't be hard. Oh, and we do got to go over Lysithia's class, too. But we can do that soon. Soon enough. Alright, we were all down here. Three times two. What a devastating number that is. <laughs> Just kidding. They're all coming for Lawrence right now, which is fine, honestly. He can take it. And Lysithia and Flayna right there to heal him anyway. Ooh. They're trying their best to be difficult, but I don't know. It's just not there for them. Alright, Claude. Hopefully you don't get screwed over this time. 99% chance. So if you miss, <laughs> I would scream. I'd have to rip out my own throat. Nice. That's a good-ass level up, Claude. Honestly. That was good. Let Raphael move up. A free steel lance. Nice. So I guess we'll have the Ignats kill you. You deserve it, sir. Yeet! I wasn't about to let you go. Bye! Let's go do this. You gonna give me something free, sir? And as far as psychic, who needs it? Lawrence. Go ahead and do that, Marianne. That's fine. Because then on this side, we can just start massacring. They never saw this coming. Mwaha! Chop! Bye! I think Hilda just mastered that. Nice. Got Wrath. I'm pretty sure that's a really good one, but I'll have to double check it. Let's have Leone just kill this one since she can. How about a curtsy? That was pretty easy. How about a curtsy? Let's let Lawrence get this one. Perfection. Oh, and he's getting the crit. Nice. You love to see it. I'm impressed. We need to get him to get Aegis already. Like, come on, dude. Just freaking get it already. Alright. You're coming for it. Seven times two, actually. That's kind of rude. 
Oh, that's the boss. That's why I'm... But this is just literally free class experience for him. So, I'm cool with it. <clears throat> that doesn't bother me in the slightest. You're literally doing zero, sir. I don't know what you thought you were going to accomplish there. Let's continue to let Claude get the experience because, well, Claude needs experience. Class experience, that is. I want to get him on that Wyvern Lord soon, but I want to get Sniper done with. And Sniper still has a lot to go. We can get you just up in their face like that. Ignatz can come support. Raphael, unfortunately, you're just too slow to really be useful in this battle. Marianne. You shall assist. Lawrence. Appreciate it. Now he won't die. Yay. Alright, little flame. Can you... Oh, her cutting Gale can. Do it, girl. Get that kill. Oh, she just got to B plus, too. Reason level four. Nice. Let's let Lawrence um, kill the boss. Bye, sir. Got a free bullion out of it. Always down for that. And then I guess we'll let Hilda get the chop. It's fine. Chop him. Bye. Let's just end it there. Those two are going to go for Savage. They're going to be... Ooh, 17. That's actually a lot, sir. Did a decent amount of damage, both of you. But you're still going to die. First one's first. Ignatz. Get him, bud. <laughs> Chop. I'm impressed. And then Marianne will come up here. You can heal Savage up. He needs those heals. He needs them. And then we'll move up in here. And uh, chop of this guy's face off. Bye. Chop, chop. This could turn the tides. That wasn't too bad at all. That mission was actually like lickety split quick. Nice, Ignat. has got MVP again. My renown. It's increased. Absolutely get a save after that one. That was good. But I'm going to have to replenish battalions, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to need to get some new classes for Lysithia and for Hilda, which is great news. I mean, they're working on amazing things. They're crazy good units. I just need to get everybody else kind of caught up. As much as possible, at least. But we have another week of instruction. Yeah, we can instruct manually. Screw it. Let's see. Um, Raphael. Let's keep working on that authority. I want to get you a good battalion, dude. Nice. C+. Because then if we can get him a really good battalion, I mean, that'll just kind of round out him being the biggest beast ever. Ignatz, get that A on your bow already, dude. It's time. You're an assassin. Learned ward aerial. We'll have to see what that does. I don't really... I'm a little confused on that one. Um, let's see. Sedith, you could always use a little something something. Let's work on those axes. Get that higher up. <clears throat> so the Sedith doesn't get left behind too bad. I mean, he's still always going to be left behind. Let's be real. Leone, Leone, what do you want to work on, Chica? Probably your swords. Nope. We can get that into a decent level as well on your Falcon Knight adventure. I mean, oof. You're chilling then. Let's she just learned Grounder. That's nice. Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. I guess your fisticuffs still need work. Which is weird because I feel like you've used your fisticuffs a lot. Oh, I did not mean to move to bow. Thank you, controller, so much for that. Nice. But at least we can work her fisticuffs a little bit more. Lysithia, Lysithia. I think you need to work on the horse stuff a lot. Nice. You got a perfect, though, so that's good. And then that gets you to D+. <coughs> 
Maybe we'll make it a little bit more realistic for you to class up. Goals. Is everybody's goals kind of what I want still? I think they really are for the most part. Um, Marianne, we can start working on reason for you. Reason and faith. Yeah, your reason needs to be in the mix, lady. We gotta keep working on that. Hilda, I don't know if I really want to make you a wyvern knight anymore. I'd rather make do axe and brawl. Leone, you're still chilling, honestly. Well, actually, let's do custom sword and flying. Felix... Sword for sure, and I don't know. I guess writing. I guess that's what I had before, huh? Sedith, you can kind of chill, honestly. There we go. Okay, those are good goals. Begin the training. Ooh, somebody's birthday is happening, too. Leonie, what's up? Hey, Professor. Can we talk? I feel terrible about the last time we spoke. I was trying to apologize and just ended up losing my temper again. I'm really sorry. I figured you'd say that, but I still feel like an idiot. Somehow, I just have a hard time keeping my feelings in check around you. And I think if I don't just tell you what I'm thinking, we'll never be able to have a normal conversation. So, let me clear the air. I want us to, uh, engage. Uh, yeah, exactly. I know it's a sudden thing to ask, but I'm not going to feel settled until I know where I stand. Would you do that for me? Good. Don't hold back, okay? I want to see you at your absolute best. got me. I'm completely outmatched. Maybe. But you are definitely stronger. Honestly, that's what I needed to see. You're a true successor to Captain Gerald's style of swordplay. I almost felt like you were him. I thought I was competing with you. But that's as pointless as competing against him would have been. So instead of that, I'm going to focus on keeping the promise I made to him. Oh, I like how this relationship is turning, actually. Captain Gerald said that if anything should happen to him, I'd have to support you in his place. He didn't sound serious at the time, but it was right before he... You know, before we lost him. So, I've decided. I'd like to do just what he said. I know I'm not as strong as I need to be, but I swear to you, I'll train until I am. What do you say? Can I call you my employer? Sure. Yes, it's official. I'll protect you no matter what. Well, there we go. I'm down to be protected, Leone. That works for me. My knife just pops so good. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but it felt amazing. Oh, it's Felix's birthday. Let's have a tea party, Felix. What kind of tea you like? You look like an Angelica tea. Um, because it's your fucking birthday, bro. That's why you're here. <laughs> what do you mean? Rude. Happy birthday, you jerk. Let's talk about working together. Nice. Let's also talk about um, mighty weapons. Nice. Felix is pretty straightforward. And let's talk about... Hmm, likable allies? Dang. Might have been exploring the monastery. Thanks for your help. Two out of three, though. That's not bad. Raised our relationship with Felix. Which is good, because we kind of snatched him out of his house and stuff, so... Whatever. Well, Professor. Yay! 
Good stable duty again. Gets us more ore. Anybody gonna learn anything? Oh. Lysithia, of course. Because she's crazy. She's a bad bitch, honestly. Alright. So we have a couple things Thank that so we need to go over. Oh, yeah. No problem. I forgot I did that. Quest complete. I need to go to the marketplace. To the battalion guild. Let's replenish all of them. So everybody's good. Let's see. Who doesn't have one? Leone, you don't have one because your authority sucks. <laughs> we'll have to work on that with her. I think that's the only one. And then I want to go to the blacksmith. We got some stuff to repair, sir. This killing edge, can you repair it? Thank you. That makes me feel better. This makes me feel better. Claude, you are okay for now, Lorenz. Your Silver Lance could use it. A little replenish. Raphael, you are good. Can you replenish his killing edge? Thank you. It makes me feel better about Ignots. Hmm. Let's see. Your Silver Gauntlets need repaired bad. Repair those hoes. Everything else is pretty good for her. Can we repair this? If you have Umbral Steel. Interesting. That's just good to know. Your killer Lance could use repairing. Felix, you're pretty chill. Sedith, we don't even use you. Let's be honest. Okay. Um. As far as the armory, like, let's say we... What else do they have? Anything like crazy or interesting? A brave bow. I would like to buy that. That's just good. Okay. Then I kind of want to go through our items, our inventory and stuff real quick. Like, for example, you don't need this trash concoction, sir. You can have a full one. And I think you're probably past Iron Axe Plus, aren't you? Oh, apparently not. We still suck. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. Claude. You have, can have better than a Steel Axe, can't you? Or no? Yeah, he can... Here, take this Brave Axe. Shit. There you go. Lawrence, you're really good. You are chilling. Well, you have a vulnerary. That's silly. You should definitely have a concoction. Ignots, you have that antitoxin and that mini bow. I think both of those can go. Let's get you a concoction like a normal person, and then let's get you a magic bow. Because his magic stats actually decent, if I remember correctly. You can't even use that, so send that away. Hmm. Yeah, she hasn't been using her staff because of that. If you were to use a lance, you can have an iron one, but I, you're never going to do that. <laughs> it's just not happening. Why do you still only have a vulnerary as well? Get you the concoction. Leone, same story with you. You deserve a concoction. Leone still can't quite get to, like, a silver on her sword, so we got to work on that. There's also a Brave Lance of her grabs that I should give to somebody. Probably Lorenz. Let's get rid of that, and let's do Brave. Cool. And then these can go. You don't need them. Alright, so I feel good there. Then I need to go over certifications. Because, let's see, Claude is still chilling on what he's doing. You're good. You're you're close, but you're not done yet. Ignatz is still working. You are done with yours. We want to get you into a Grimmery, right? Do it, Lysithia. Become a master. 
Perfect. Perfect. She is a grammary. That's great. Marianne, you are still working on yours, correct? I don't think she was able let's just I want I think I want you on grammary. I just think you failed last time. They're both on grammary territory. Which is great. Um Hilda. I don't know what I want you to be, Chica. You just mastered warrior. So I guess it is time for you to be a wyvern knight writer. Cause what else would you be? A fortress knight, you'd fail. Yeah. It's time to put you on a freaking Now you and Leone are the flyers. I actually like that a lot. I have an actual flying team. Oh yeah, her battalion was removed. Whatever. Leone, you're still working on Yeah. Felix is still working. Sedith is still No, Sedith is done with his. It's time to switch him. Um I don't know what I want him to be. He already has the Wyvern Rider, so I should do that. And you're still working. Flane, so you're good. So that goes back to inventory reclass Sedith. Who I should put on the Wyvern Rider. My interest. Okay. And then combat arts. Sorry, we just have a lot to get together. Because in the next episode, we'll take on the next mission. I'm feeling like... Mm, you're good on yours. Curse shot, monster blast, enclosure. What does this do? Oh, that could be nice instead of curve shot. Let's do that. Um, you're good. You're good. Ignatz, you could have haste slice. What is that? Oh, makes it easy to dodge counterattacks. Hmm. I don't know if you necessarily need that. I don't know if you need curve shot, though, either. What's ward arrow do? Oh, prevents them from using magic? Hell yeah. Lysithia, you have nothing. Marianne, you have nothing. Hilda. Healing focus. You can just heal yourself like that? Is that the T? Because listen, we never use those with her. So we could do that. Nice. Leone. Lance Jab. Um, I think she's good. Finesse Blade. Let's do that instead of Sunder. Gives him something. Okay, I think everybody else is good there. Battalion abilities. Let's see. Cause there's some good ones that just happened, I believe. Did I not want Fiendish Blow? Oh yeah, you don't have magic yet, so it wouldn't make sense. <coughs> What am I looking for? Wrath. Here we go. If the phone initiates combat HP, is, yeah. Wrath is great. And death blow too. Together they would be six. So let's finally get rid of that HP plus five and give you wrath. <laughs> She's a monster. Lysithia, did you have anything new? No, you're good. All right. Then we have a couple support conversations too. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, do you have an itch back there? I guess you can't scratch it on your own, can you? Hi, Marianne. <gasps> oh, Claude. It's just you. Sorry, I know you're in the middle of an important discussion with Dorte, but could I talk to you? About what? It's about this thing you think you're burdened with. I've tried to guess what it is. Please don't. This is making me a little uncomfortable. There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. It's not like I plan on saying it aloud. But if my guess is correct, there's something I want to tell you. Will you hear me out? Fine. I will listen. 
Once upon a time, in a faraway place. What the... Are you telling me a story? Just listen. Once upon a time, in a faraway place, there was a young boy. This boy came from a despised lineage. In short, his mother was a daughter of the enemy. So the young boy was treated horribly by everyone around him. He hadn't done anything wrong. Everyone hated him simply for existing. Yelling, fighting back, explaining himself. Nothing he did could change his situation. When he was finally old enough, he ran far away from home. He escaped. It sounds to me like he had no choice. I would have done the same had it been me. Thing is, after he ran away, he still found himself in the very same position. People in the outside world hated him for where he came from. Well, now that's... The boy thought he had no place to go. All he could do was destroy the boundary between the inside and the outside worlds. Destroy the boundaries? Right. If there was no outside and inside, just one side to share, then the people outside wouldn't have a reason to hate him anymore, right? It wouldn't be easy, but if he managed it, he could shrug off that burden. The point is, people are born with burdens to carry. That much is undeniable. But whether they bind us or we cast them aside, that's up to us. So I think you should try to cast yours aside, Marianne. Put that heavy burden down. It's time. But I... I don't know if I can do it. It's okay. I'm here for you. We're the same, and I can help you. The same? <laughs> Claude, we have nothing in common. Hey, did you see that, Dorte? Your friend just smiled at me. Thank you for sharing your story. I suppose I could try casting a side burden, as you say. We can try together. Let's do that. And when we're free, we can change the whole world. Well, that's cute. I like it. Wow, we're getting a lot of support level A's now. Why, Scythia, it's no good for you to expose yourself to such strong sunlight. And a chill could steal upon you at any moment. You really ought to have worn a mantle. <laughs> you have been running yourself absolutely ragged. Would you please consider taking some rest? Enough is enough. I am fully aware. Now, stop following me. I'm only concerned for your health. That's great and all, but I feel fine today. And I'm perfectly capable of caring for myself. I don't have time to take a rest. I'm overloaded with work, and I have less time than everyone else. I just want to do my own thing. Bring order to the Alliance, and put my parents' minds at ease. No need to rush. How can you be so certain your lifespan is shortened anyway? I do not know who decided that, but consider me skeptical. If you are healthy now, and if you take proper care of yourself, you ought to live just as long as anyone else. That's all well and good. But those vitamin-packed sweets you brought tasted weird. If you want a healthy body, then you need to start with what you eat. You have a point, but those health sweets are gross. I sent for the finest in wholesome, healthy treats for you. I asked only for the very sweetest. That was pretty nice of you. I'm sorry, Lawrence. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Still, I don't need bushels and bushels of them. Gaining a ton of weight won't exactly lengthen my lifespan either. I mean, I like to be able to hang out with you as much as possible. And for as long as possible. Truly? Oh, I'm so glad. I feel the same. Even in an otherwise perfect future, I still cannot see a happy life for myself without you in it. In fact, the more time we spend together, the more essential to me you become. So let us walk side by side toward a future together. Yikes! Keep it down, will you? Why are you flustered? What is there to be embarrassed about? You know I will always care for you. Okay, okay, noted. Will you just calm down already? You need not worry about a thing. I will look after you no matter what may come. After all, the future of Fodlan rests upon my shoulders, does it not? <laughs> I won't give up on myself either. Thanks for caring, Lawrence. 
Noise! It kind of seems like everybody's just hooking up, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Ignatz and Marianne, let's see how you two fare. Huh. What's that about? Marianne, I saw you on the training grounds earlier. It looked like there was an argument. Oh, no. It was nothing. Are you sure? Nothing happened at this morning's training? Well... Okay, tell me what happened. I... I just couldn't keep up with the rest of the group. Everyone got so mad at me. They said something about looking into their eyes so I could read their movements. But I couldn't do it. They may have a point. I'm a hindrance to everyone. I just... I can't do it. Of course not. That goes without saying. It's hard to accomplish anything on your own. Look at me. By myself, I'm worse than useless. Can you see where I'm going with this? To succeed, you have to cooperate. You can't do that if you're not paying attention to nonverbal cues. Huh? Please, try looking up. Looking people in the eye. You'll see some things that you've never seen before. People worry about you and rely on you. You'll see that on your allies' faces. In a way, you'll see what they're thinking. You... you may be right. It was my fault for looking down. Thank you, Ignatz. I appreciate your encouragement. Of course. Look, we both saw the sunset and appreciated its beauty. Nature communicates without words. We can do the same. We don't need to speak to be understood. Stop staring at your feet. Look at us. That'll be a good start. I can certainly try. Huh. I, is something wrong? Did I say something to upset you? Oh no, to the contrary. I just realized that I was missing something. A thing of remarkable beauty. Right under my nose. Remarkable beauty? Uh, what? what? Don't, Don't mind me. <laughs> Ignatz has a little crush. That's kind of cute, actually. And then I think after all that, I think we should rest for this time. Or we could have a seminar. Somebody teach us about swords, Felix? Sure. Let's have a little sword class, actually. Changed my mind. I was going to rest, but we're not resting. Felix is going to teach us about swords. There is still more to learn. I didn't nice. even know I cared this That was perfect. And some more motivation for us. You love to see it. Hey, it's our birthday. We got a gift from Claude. It was a letter. And it's also Lysithia's birthday. Let's just give her some flowers. I didn't want to have a tea party right now. Well, in the next one, we will go on a mission. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Make sure to smash that like button for me to show you support for the series. Um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.